How, how would you describe these people that work with the horses and drive them? Colorful. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, people that drive them and own them, they probably come from all walks of life at our show. We've got what I call millionaires here that have the hitches probably as a hobby. We've got businesses that own them, that use it as advertising purposes. We've got the farmers that own them, that farm and so forth, and raise the draft horses for breeding stock to sell otherwise, and they've got the hitch to promote their stock. And we've got just a common Joe that's got horses because he likes them. Horses cost money, don't they? And the wagons cost money? What, what are we talking about in terms of what it... In an average investment, is that Yeah, an average investment about? when they're looking out there. Now, what kind of a hitch you want to talk? It can, it can be such a range from, from having Grandpa's wagon that you've maybe refinished the wood on it, had the wheels tightened, or maybe put some new brakes on, and maintain the old wagon to the hand carved walnut wagons that are handcrafted to and built modeling after the you know these original wagons and you've got wagons that can cost anywhere from fifteen to thirty thousand dollars just the wagon and you've got horses that maybe somebody bought for as a young colt for or a two-year-old for maybe six seven to a thousand dollars, six, seven hundred to a thousand dollars, and then you might have the hitch that had five horses and found just the last perfect one and ended up paying ten thousand for that last single horse to make their hitch just right. So it it never is the same. You know. Uh, about 99 and 9 tenths percent of the six horse hitches are gildings instead of mares. And me and my wife were sitting over to Waterloo there with a hitch and one list. And they said, could we ask you a question? I said, you most certainly can. Well, how come there are always male horses instead of female horses? I says, well, lady, I says, you put six females out there and you say, go, you know. They got to stop and think, now what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to back up or go ahead? And I says, the show, the hitch of males, he's already won the show and the other ones are figuring out what to do already. Is that a and comment that, about female horses or females in general? Well, there was female horses then. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like the competitiveness or the strive for perfection doesn't just happen in the ring, but is maybe a whole way of life. You know, it's got to start six, eight months ahead with a you know, feeding program and growing out their feet and setting and resetting shoes and, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes, you know, back home work that starts out that's involved in getting the horses ready to go and, and then just like a day of the show. The horses all have to be bathed and not just one, all six of them. Well, Jim, you've been in on that. That's a several times. <laughs> several times, many times. Wash all the horses and put them in their stalls and, and run and have breakfast and then back to work till till the show starts. At the show you have, do these horses when they kind of come, do they have a sense that they're there for a, something important and as they're getting ready? Do, do you think the horses know what's going on? I, I, Sometimes I think they do. Oh, I, I really I do. do. You know, they know when you're braiding them. You know, something's about to happen. It's showtime. It's just you know. But uh, 
show horse is, a, it's about like a beauty queen, you know. Because if you was in a beauty queen, you would be all dressed up. So now he's in a show, so he's going to get all dressed up. Oh, I see. <laughs> Not like just back on the farm <laughs> in their overalls. <laughs> These are what you call Saturday night trips. See, you go to town on Saturday night, you get all dressed up. Well, this horse, he goes out in the show ring, he gets all dressed up. The harness itself is designed symbolically from the the harness that was originally used during the um, Crusades. And some of the decoration on the harness is actually replicas and shapings of the to protect the horse's kidneys, um, the kidney drops. Um, some of the, the medallions and the decorations on the harness were actual part of the horse's armor than the horses, draft horses that were used in the Crusades. So the harness itself, a lot of parts of it, some of are functional and some are decorative, referring to that harness that was worn by the horses back in the 1500s.